with what is undoubtedly any parent's worst nightmare. Mike and Callie Hyde learn that their two-year-old son, Cash, has a stage four brain tumor. Cash is quickly rushed into surgery, followed by chemo and radiation. But after 40 days without eating, the doctors prepare the Hydes for the worst. And May of 2010, Cashy was diagnosed with a stage 4 brain tumor. We did open brain surgery on the 5th of May. We, the doctors confirmed with us that he had a malignant peanut brain tumor that was inoperable and that he needed high-dose chemo, bone marrow transplants, were his only chance of survival, and even then, it was an 80% chance that we weren't gonna, we weren't gonna be taking him home. All right, here's Camp, Camp Cashy, right there. Little slice of paradise. After pumping massive doses of chemo into Cashy's body, the doctors inform the Hides that Cash has reached the end of the line. And they told us, they go, guys, Cashy's not gonna make this. He just finished his sixth round of high dose chemo. His body is so stressed from all of the chemo and drugs he's on, or was on, that he's going to have organ failure, he's going to have brain damage, and there's no way his body's ever going to rebuild his lungs. He's, late, he's basically, he's going to die. And he went to the ICU, they put him on life support, and we went through this two-week roller coaster of his heart stopping from the drugs they were giving him in the ICU to re resuscitating him to literally asking us, do you even want us to resuscitate him anymore? He's not gonna make this. There's no way he's gonna make this. He's gonna have brain damage. He's gonna have organ failure. Out of options and willing to try anything, the Hydes discover a man on the internet who had cured his own cancer with a modernized version of an extremely potent homemade cannabis oil. So that day, Callie and I started sneaking the oil into his G-tube and they started weaning him off of all those drugs I named off. And, it, and over a course of two weeks, we literally pulled him off of all eight of those medications. We had him sitting up in bed, eating again, laughing. He had a quality of life that wasn't possible on the drugs they were giving him. And the whole time, the nurses and the doctors were saying, God, this is just miraculous that Cash is doing so well. So as all these doctors are saying, God, we don't understand how he survived all of this. This don't make any sense to us. I pulled that patent out the government has on cannabis as a neuroprotectant antioxidant. As of October 2003, our government, represented by the Department of Health and Human Services, acquired an official patent titled, Cannabinoids as Antioxidants and Neuroprotectants. Yet, even with this patent, the government claims that it can arrest nonviolent Americans for possessing and distributing a substance that could never be considered legitimate medicine. The fact that the federal government has a patent means that there's someone there that recognizes it has a dis it has novelty, it has a market value. In order to issue a patent, you have to demonstrate very important criteria. And he walked out of the ICU seven days before Christmas. We were told he was a Christmas miracle and that he would be referenced to and talked about for years to come at the Human Cancer Institute of America. That's when we sat there and we got cat we taught Cashy how to walk again, how to crawl, how to crawl, then how to walk again between the end of December going into January. End of January we did our brain scans. They told us that we were cancer free, that we were in remission, and that we could come back home to Montana. At that point in time, that's when I told the doctors that Cashy was a cannabis patient and that he had been on medical cannabis. That's why I believe that he survived the second shock, the stroke, pulmonary hemorrhaging. That's why we were able to get him off the nausea and pain drugs. And that's why Cashy was the Christmas miracle. That's when all the doctors there just literally shut up. They had nothing to say and they didn't want to have any more comments. They basically locked up. They were like, uh, what? Um, uh. All miracles aside, growing, processing, and possessing cannabis is still a federal offense, making it very difficult to not only obtain, but to keep a...